Hello everyone and welcome, this here is Stardust Wyvern and today we will be discussing on how to get monsters off of CDs and ISOs on EPSXE 2.0.5. If you have other emulators or older versions of EPSXE, this does not apply. So, there are two plugins you can use to get monsters in this game. The first is with WNT slash W2K, which you can find already packaged up with EPSXE. The other is CDR Movie 2.8, in which not many people use, but I'll show it off anyways because why not. I've used it in my Let's Play, it worked fine. There are other CD plugins you can use, but both of these that I mentioned before work perfectly for me. And first off, we're going to show off WNT slash W2K. We're going to do the CD method first, and then the ISO one after. So first you go into the shrine like I already did, and you hit regeneration. See this little thing? You just press escape, and then you go to file, change disk, and then CD-ROM. Tells you to insert a CD-ROM, and then hit the button to continue. Any CD will work fine, just plop it in, and there you go. So the CD is now in, and let's begin. This will take a few seconds, but it'll show up right about uh, now. Now, it should be now, right there. All right, you press X, or whatever your button is, programmed to be X. And just give it a sec, it says reading the data, and you just reinsert the Monster Rancher 2 CD. Or if you're like me, if you run it with the ISO. Like right now, we're going to be doing the ISO. I play on hard mode, so this should work fine if you're playing on vanilla or if you're playing on the CD version. And you press X like obviously. There's the big moment. And we just wait till the monster appears. Should work at the work same way as like the actual console. For example, I use Beastie Boys Check Your Head and I get the Love Seeker right there. I have tested this several times. I remember what CDs gave me what. And yeah, it should work just as fine if you're playing it on CD or if you're doing CD uh, regeneration. So yeah, that's how you do the CD method. Now let's take a look at the other two methods that involve using ISOs. So here is method two, which involves using the same plugin we used earlier, but this time we're going to load from the ISO. Like previously, we have saw there was two options. You have CDR and you have ISO. We're going to be using ISO this time. I shouldn't have to really show it off, but I'm doing it anyway. So let's just load a... Uh, I got more games, but let's just load uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Why the hell not? Uh, load from the queue. Do not load from the bin. If you load from the bin, you will not get the monster you want. I have tested this many times, and it does not work like that. You will get a Niton Kato instead of the monster that's from the actual file. And again, there's some loading. Shouldn't really take that long, but I don't know what happened there. And you do the same like you did before. You just go to ISO or CD if you play on a CD, which I recommend playing on an ISO. But you do you. And press X. Apologize for the uh, inputs eating up or whatever. But it should work just as fine. And here we go, we get ourselves a mochi of some sort. I know from the... Yep, it's a night mochi. I know it from the uh, the dots lining up, whatever they call it. There you go, it works just as fine. Some vary, and some work fine, but hey, you get it from an ISO as well. 
So, here we go. It is CDR Movie Time. I had to restart my emulator. So we do the same as before. You load up the CD regeneration. You go to change disk. You can go to CD-ROM this time. And you can load up a game. So, for example, we got Busta Move 4. Now, normally I would say don't load up from the bin. But for CDR Movie, you have to load up from the bin. If you go into CD-ROM instead of ISO. And like before, you go into this, you can go into CD-ROM, or you can go into ISO for this, doesn't really matter. It should function the same. One other thing I forgot to mention though for the uh, WNT method for ISOs is you can also use the CCD files along with the Q files. They should work just as fine. Using a bin file or an actual ISO file will not load up the monster. Unless you are, of course, using uh, Mubi. In which Mubi is mostly for this kind of stuff. You get your Cinderbird, and there you go. So I hope that wraps up this revamped tutorial. If there's anything I'm still missing, you can ask me. I'm always open for questions or comments. Thank you, and uh, see you all then.